hard to believe the weekend's here already. Yep, movie critic Will Loper <laughs> is back for his daily segment here on Live at Four. Good to see you again, Will. Hey there. So this weekend, it may be a treat because there's a new movie that some are calling Disney's best yet. Also, Tina Fey goes to the Middle East and Morgan Freeman stars alongside some explosions. Here are the new movies. Disney has had an impressive recent streak of animated features, from Frozen to Wreck-It Ralph to Big Hero 6. <laughs> this weekend, Zootopia releases and hopes to continue that streak. CPD's first rabbit officer, Judy Hopp. You ready to make the world a better place? <sighs> In a world of anthropomorphic animals, something Disney has never done before, a Fox Con artist must find a way to work and get along with a bunny police officer to uncover a conspiracy. I have 36 hours left. We can only solve it together. It's not about how badly you want something. It's about what you are capable of. Jason Bateman, Idris Elba, Octavia Spencer, and many more provide voices. Zootopia is rated PG. First, there was Olympus Has Fallen. Now, London has fallen which means it's only a matter of time before we get such sequels as Antarctica has fallen and moon has fallen this time around bad guys are taking over the world and intentionally destroying British landmarks London is just the first stop just imagine every major city descending into chaos. The only people who can stop them are President Benjamin Asher, played by Aaron Eckhart, his security guard Gerard Butler, you should have brought more than that. and Morgan Freeman's voice. While it's an honor to be portrayed by the golden-voiced Morgan Freeman, that man could read the phone book and make it sound interesting. Three, four, nine, two. Hmm. Just listen to that rich molasses. London Has Fallen is rated R. Finally, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot opens. The network needs reporters on the ground in Afghanistan. And you folks are all the unmarried, childless personnel in this bureau. Based on a memoir by Kim Barker, Tina Fey stars as a war correspondent in Pakistan and Afghanistan who meets a cast of interesting characters and develops a relationship with a reporter from Scotland, played by Martin Freeman. In New York, you're like six, seven. Here, you were nine. Borderline ten. What are you here, like a 15? Hello. Yeah. Huh. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot is rated R. Hey, Cobble's first licensed female driver, Gulbahar Yousefi, hits the road. In the first... That sucks. That sucks for women. That was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. And you said you had read the book that the movie's based it's on. It's taken from the book The Taliban mm -hmm. Shuffle. And what's interesting in the book is that she's a print reporter, not a television mm -hmm. reporter. Yeah. So that's one thing that's different about the movie. Quite an interesting change. It's also funny because in the book, she says that she played sort of a Tina Fey type character. And now yes. Tina Fey is playing. <laughs> The a person who's a Tina Fey character, yes. I can't wait to see the movie because the book is serious, but also very funny. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. It's kind of, it kind of, the trailer makes it look like a comedy, but it's got drama in there as well. And maybe Disney's best yet? That's right. One reviewer said it's better than Big Hero 6 and Frozen. Wow. So that's, that's a pretty, praise. that's a tall order. I don't know if it'll, if it'll accomplish it, but maybe the parents who are sick of Let It Go will have a new <laughs> just go let it go. movie. Let it go. Yeah, just let it go. So. All right. Busy weekend at the movies. That's right. Thanks, Thanks Will. Thanks. Good weekend.